All right, I got like two more questions and we'll get you out of here. So we did we did kind of thoughts on tight ends here. Let's do uh, your thought on quarterback strategy and one 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 QB redraft here. So just just for everyone is to get a peek behind the curtain here. We the previous mock before this one that we did, uh, and that occurred maybe a week before. Mm-hmm. Dak Prescott and a lot of these guys were available in like the. 13th. Yeah. Uh, like every, like Rogers, Dak, Carr, Cousins, all were available extra, extra late. So I, I, I knew that coming into this one is like, okay, I'm just, I'm just going to wait. I would love to be able to have one of those really fun guys up top. I'd love to be a part of the Trey Lance breakout party to, to start him. That would be a ton of fun. And I'm 100% okay getting Kirk Cousins in the 14th or waiting. So in yeah. one QB, I'm, I'm if, it, if it's best ball, I want to be able to take my shot typically earlier with one of those guys. But in redraft, I am 100 percent fine. Uh, again, Stafford was the very last pick and that was an auto big coat. That was pick. auto pick. Yeah. <laughs> auto big go as the very last pick in the 14th. So we're looking at guys like Kirk Cousins and Stafford in the last round. I, I'm, I'm fine waiting. You guys can go crazy early. Uh, I'm OK to wait and stack up everywhere else. I, Which real uh, quick, let me give a little plug. He's talking about these mocks that we're doing. If you guys want to get in on these mocks, we're doing it over at the uh, patreon.com slash GFF dynasty. Sign up, get the disc, get access to the discord channel. We've been mocking up dynasty drafts all off season long. We're hitting them redraft heavy hard now. So, that you know, because every, all of us playing dynasty, you're playing a redraft of some sort. You got, I mean, that was like, got to go back to your roots so this is yeah. and it's fun it's it's a lot of fun to transition back to, to redraft and make sure you get some of those leagues but we're doing mocks all the time make sure you come over to the ff dynasty patreon.com uh and uh get in on this and then j mike's sporting one of them beautiful t-shirts i see mm-hmm. uh if, if you guys hit me with a five-star review send me the send me a screenshot of a five-star review on itunes or spotify and uh We'll get you entered into a contest to win a free T-shirt. I already got one sent out. Going to gonna do another contest. Going to keep that rolling. So just wanted to give a quick plug. You know, if you're watching on YouTube or hit like, subscribe, whatnot. Back to uh, the softest, the softest fantasy T-shirt you're going to find. Uh, softest T-shirt that you're going to find. Period. This is one of those early editions, a couple of years ago, a few years yeah. ago the editions. This is. But it came cozy. soft though. It's not. It's not. It's not dry, dried fifteen times soft. It's, 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 it came soft. <laughs> And the logo's still strong, no matter how many times you dry that bitch. So, <laughs> all right, but I, I back to the quarterbacks. I pretty much agree with you. There's not too many circumstances where I'm going to draft a quarterback early. There could be a, a a very slight chance that in like the sixth or seventh round that none of the really good ones went so far. Like Allen or somebody really, a, maybe a big difference maker might be hanging around, and maybe because of the way the board played out, there might be a small little dead spot where I grab one of them. But for the most part. I agree with you. I'm going to just wait. I took Lance in the 10th round here just just because it was the 10th round at that point. It's like, well, the upside of Lance right now with the rest of the guys left is probably a bit higher than everything else. So I'll take him. Plus, logo at the top's a niner thing. It's redraft. Uh, Let me get in on some on some Lance, but perfectly fine taking Cousins. Um, you know, I don't even know if Derek Carr was drafted. Yeah, that's wild. Um, no, he was. You not. know, that's so it's absolutely. Just, Aaron Rodgers is down here. You took Brady in the tenth. Dax here in the tenth. I mean, so yeah, I'm, I agree with you a hundred percent. I think I think most people are on that train. Although every year, I mean, I th- I think that everybody's on that train. And to your point, we kind of were in the last mock, but then you come to this mock, and it's a you know it's a little different. Although you did take Lamar Jackson like the fourth round of the last mock. <laughs> it, was, it was an auto pick and that last mock was a live draft we did it was, like uh, it was so one bad. minute clock one minute clock i was uh, deciding it's hard to draft in a one minute clock this scenario. was a one minute clock that and, other one but we weren't talking on the mics during this draft yeah, yeah, yeah. you're right you're right yeah you're right. So talk, then, talking then, on the mic the other problem is i'm the only one drafting here i'm talking about who i want to pick and then these fools over here are like oh they're in the chat like oh yeah that's who Foreman wants. Perfect. We're just going to draft ahead of him. <laughs> screwed out of all my picks. Once you talk about who you want to take, that person's going to go. When, yeah. So, 
but I mean, f- it's fun. You know, that's why you got to subscribe, like we're doing live shows and, and doing live mocks. You can get in on that. Anybody have any different opinion on a quarterback? You, no, it's the same opinion. You can't take one of these guys. You can't take Josh Allen, Mahomes, Herbert, Lamar Jackson it's that early. It's, no, there's no but, value there. Like, I guess, I guess Lamar in the 6 12 is kind of fun, you know, I guess, but. Even even the run that went here, it went Kyler, Jalen Hurts, and then I took Russell Wilson. I was like, ah, fuck it, let's get let's let's take a shot on Russell. But even looking at this board, that's that, that's probably too early for Russell. I mean, even though they are going to let him cook, you know, I'm I'm intrigued to see what kind of chef he can, what kind of meal he can really cook up when, when he's when he's got his brand new fresh kitchen and he's allowed to cook, you know. But even with that said, like Derek Carr didn't go. Derek Carr's about to have a career year. Derek Carr could easily finish as like a top. Seven yeah. five quarterback this yeah. year, and he didn't even fucking go. Yeah. You can't take a quarterback early. Just wait. You just can't do it. Yeah, team five got auto drafted halfway through, and they took two. So like, and, and they got still, auto drafted the whole way through. And no car didn't go. And you, you know, definitely so. can't take two. You definitely <laughs> cannot take two quarterbacks in a redraft league. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, you can't go. do it. <laughs> but with, with that, <laughs> but that was uh, awesome. I feel like <laughs> big go. Uh, that's big company uh, mo. Auto draft, baby. I feel like without fail, though, we do know we we know two things. One, this is the reason that you mock it up, so you don't fuck it up, right? Because that's something that we learned, and I wouldn't have I wouldn't have guessed that without the previous mock that we did, right? But the but the second part of that is in our in your home leagues, we know that there's going to be turds all over the place Mm -hmm. who are going to be willing to take two, Uh, and and many teams may end up taking two. So it's it's one of those things where. You need to understand your room, and you need to understand when you start seeing a bunch of second quarterbacks go. Get your first. When when, when to pull your trigger? Right, exactly. Yeah, that's that's right. that is that is veteran advice right there. That's yeah, fair. that's well. If you don't take anything else away from that, take take away that because I've been the stubborn guy who's like, I'm never taking fuck that. I'm not taking a quarterback. But then all of a sudden, all these idiots, you're like, what are you idiots doing? And then you're like, shit, I'm starting, you know, Jimmy G. And I'm like, ah. Son of a bitch. And then you think that they'll end up dropping one, but they fucking won't. They'll just keep carrying them like fucking idiots. I got one for my bye week. Right. Right. 